Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video is on quick tips and hacks to make your life a bit easier and convenient. These are easy, simple solutions and ideas that I follow to help improve my life and I really wanted to share them out with you so you can get some ideas as well. So let's get started. And as always, thank you so much for joining and special thanks to my viewers that voted for this topic in the community tab on my channel. First are some baking soda hacks that I wanted to share. I keep baking soda in a salt and pepper shakers like this and you can get a cheap one. Mine is just from the Dollar Tree. If you want to freshen up your sofa or carpet to take the seasonal odors off or if you have pets etc. It becomes so easy to evenly sprinkle it over quickly and then you can vacuum it afterwards or use a microfiber cloth to dust it off. If you get an accidental ink stain on a fabric bench or couch, baking soda works totally great for that. You can just make a paste of baking soda and water and apply it on and using a damp microfiber cloth, gently scrub it off. And the same hack works really well if you ever get a chalk paint stain on the fabric furniture. You can just do the exact same thing and the stain will disappear in minutes. Next baking soda hack is for making your kitchen sink looking brand new and shiny. All you have to do is sprinkle a couple tablespoon of baking soda all over the sink and some dish soap or liquid and using a soft brush or sponge gently scrub the sink and rinse it off with water and your sink will be fresh and sparkling clean within minutes. So I'm sure you all know about the stovetop simmer hack to make your home smelling amazing. I do it the unconventional way from kitchen waste or scrapes. Next time you're peeling an orange or squeezing a lemon, don't throw away the peel or lemon halves. Boil them in a saucepan with water on medium heat for a nice fragrant stovetop simmer. If you have access to some fresh herbs, you can add some of that as well. If you have unused egg or ice tray sitting around that you're not using anymore, they're actually great to organize your little eye shadows or things that create clutter in the drawers. Next up is more of a tip than hack to reduce waste. If you have kids or you're a family like us that uses a lot of straws especially during warmer months and if you are looking into an eco-friendly option I highly recommend reusable straws. I got mine from Amazon about a year ago and they still look brand new. These work really well with hot as well as cold drinks. These are eco-friendly of course, made of stainless steel, non-toxic and dishwasher safe. Repurposing old stuff is a great money-saving hack that we can do around the house. For example, I had some leaky mason jars. I'm not sure what happened, but I had these handle mason jars that started leaking. So I use them as a decorative cutlery or silverware holder. So if you have some spare mason jars sitting around, this is a great idea to put them to good use. The next two ideas I, I already showed you in my previous video, these sugar and tea containers. If you accidentally break the lid like we did because life happens, you can use them as decorative vase around the house. You can use the same idea with an old kettle or a kettle that you're not using anymore as a decorative centerpiece. If your matching sheets get lost in the linen closet, try storing the sheet set inside one of its pillowcases. Not only sheets won't get lost, they would be so much easier to grab and pull out of the closet and your linen closet will stay perfectly organized.
the low candle wick problem i so get it it happens with me all the time if your candles are burning too low to reach the wick try the uncooked spaghetti noodle trick it will reach into those deep candles and you won't burn your fingers to keep the garbage bags in place Stick two command hooks upside down on the either side of trash can and it will keep the bag in its place and make your everyday life so much easier. It's the little things after all. If you get makeup spills, things like eyebrow gel or liner or powder in your drawer or over drawer liner, the quickest way to clean it off is using a moisturizer or body lotion. What you can do is just take some lotion on a cotton pad and then gently scrub it off. You'll be surprised to see how quickly the makeup stains will come right off. So those were all of the home hacks that I had to share today. I really hope you got some ideas and inspiration. If you did and want to show your support, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.